What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we caught a fish, and we did some other stuff also. If you missed it, make sure you go back and watch it. It's a pretty good video. So, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be delivering said fish to Grandma. We're also going to be chopping and delivering some firewood. And then, of course, we're going to continue our work on the Satsuma. But first... We need to head to bed. All right, first thing we need to do this morning is of course get our phone plugged back in and then we should probably address our stats, specifically our uh, dirtiness, because I can almost guarantee grandma's not gonna wanna chit chat with us if we're smelling like a skunk. Now we can grab our fish out of the refrigerator. I haven't heard the kill you bubble just yet this morning. I haven't really been listening for it, I guess. Any minute now. Be awesome if it was done, but there's just no way. Okay, there it is. Still bubbling, but it's getting much, much slower. So hopefully by the end of today's episode, that thing will be about ready to go. Um, I don't think, also, we don't have the Joe bro over here, do we? Great, awesome, excellent. Well, we'll hop in the Kekmet then and we'll take that over to the woodshed. That way we can have a little bit of faster transportation over to Grandmama's house. Can I ever just get on the Joe Bro normally? Like, does it always have to tip over when I try to get on? I, I, I don't love that. I'll be honest, don't love that. But we've made it. Oh, and I for... Not only did I just kill the Joe Bro, but I completely forgot to get the fish out of the tractor, dude. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm actually losing it, you guys. Okay, there's our fish. Let's grab you. We'll just huck you on over there. Yeah, the, um, the sanity is decreasing faster than I would have thought, but that's okay. You know, that's fine. Everything is fine. I definitely, definitely should have taken the helmet, uh, for starters, but that's cool, man. That's cool. We only put it on its side the one time. Really wasn't that big of a deal. And by the looks of Grandma Ma's driveway, must be having a rally today. I actually didn't even remember what day the rally was at or anything like that. So, Grandma Ma, we brought you a fish. Do we put it in this basket for you? Is that what you... Yeah, I think that's all you wanted, right? I can't grab it now. Maybe I'll have a seat. Maybe we can have a chat. Start by drinking some coffee. Let me take it. I've got you all under the dirt. I didn't see you give me any. Not to, not to you know, sound ungrateful, Grandma, but you didn't exactly give us any money for bringing you a fish. Like, kind of doing you a real solid here, and not really getting much in return. She's just gonna go on about something. Actually, I need to pee. Uh, Grandma, can I can I just pee right over here, quick? Is this, is that, now stop with your stupid axe, she says. All right, I'll pee over here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, she still doesn't like that. I'll go back here. Sorry, Grandma. My bad. Oh, hang on. Do I hear a rally car? Dude, I... They're running it right now? It's very early. I wish we had the wristwatch already. I know we can get that on Saturday, right? There they go. Wow, they are really ripping, dude. I forgot how fast they go through here. Is that a, oh, it's a chainsaw. It's like, well, that's an interesting sounding vehicle. And grandma's gone. Okay, cool. Well, I didn't really pay attention to our money prior to delivering the fish, but I'm, I'm pretty certain she didn't actually give us any money for that. So. Back home we go. And here we are back home once again. Okay, so before we start chopping some wood, let's go ahead and turn this bad boy off. 
I always hit enter too many times trying to get on and off this thing. It's it's a whole deal. It really is a whole deal. All right, so um, like I said, before we go start chopping some firewood, I think we're going to take care of our stats once again. So we'll have some sausages, grab a drink from the tap, and we should be good to head on over there. Gotta be honest, I don't know if I remember how to do this. I know we need the, uh, like, trailer as close or as far... Jeez, dude, I can't I can't do things and talk at the same time today. Like, it's, it's actually getting worse and worse as time goes on. Anywho, I know we need to have the trailer backed up into that little area over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that quick with the tractor. And we should be good to start going. Okay, hopefully that's not, like, too close to the back wall or anything, but it should be okay, I would think. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of space back here still, dude. Okay, let's see if uh, if your boys still got it. I know we need to pick up the axe like this, and then it, it does look like the axe is in our hand. So, all we have to do is swing, and it just, and it should just, it should just do the thing. It should just do the stuff. Okay, where do, where do I need to stand? Let's figure that out. Right there, we could pick up another log. We've still got it. We've still got, okay, well, and then that happens. One more. Awesome, this is going to take forever. This is awful, dude. I forgot how much I dislike uh, chopping wood. It's just, it's not for me. Wait, is it not even, is it not even going up anymore? It's still making noise, but I don't think it's actually increasing the height here. I can't remember how this works. I think after a while it just stops. So my brain actually does feel a little bit more like mush now after having done that task but now ladies and gents we get to start the not super long trek but a trek all the way out to dude bro's house who needs the firewood well that was a very very eventful little drive over here dude we had two very very close calls with some rally racers. But now all we need to do is just pull over that green tarp right there. I think right there should be about perfect. We'll put her into neutral, rip the e-brake, and actually let's just go ahead and uh, idle, the, idle the tractor down. Don't need to be wasting any fuel. We don't really have too much in the tank. And then how do we, how do we use this thing again? Wasn't there like a rear tip or something for the trailer? There's a diff lock. I don't remember how to do this. It's been a while, okay? It's been a while. Maybe it's just back here. We can detach the trailer from here. I know this thing tips. Here we go, rear hydraulics. That ought to do it. The tractor does need to be on for this to work though. So let's crank her on over yet again. Let her idle back up. And then should just click that. And out she goes. Hopefully. Yep, seems good. You have trouble and I have payment. You can buy beer and sausages with all the money. Thanks, buddy. I, I really appreciate that. I'll come come grab that off you. Let me just lower down the, the trailer again. Or wait, does it need to go this way? There we go. Look at that. Incredible. You know, I'm really glad that we were able to help you out. Oh, rally car, rally car, rally car. Jeez, dude. They're so fast. 
they're so fast. I mean, granted, if you if you look at something moving that quick when you're standing still, it's it's gonna look even faster. I wonder what it feels like in the car, dude. All right, 3,200 marks. That's pretty good, man. Appreciate that. All righty, what a journey we've had today, huh? It's been so much fun. I've really, really enjoyed all the labor. Now, though, we gotta continue our work on the Satsuma. But first, we, of course, need to tend to our stats. Come back in the kitchen, get a drink. It's broken again. It's actually broken again, dude. Are you kidding me? Wait, I must just need to pay our bill. Okay, that's no sweat. Is this thing bubbling still? It's not. I don't think. Well, give it a minute. Give it a minute. Hang on. No, I actually... Nope, there it goes bubbling. Okay, never mind. We've still got a little while longer to go on that. Let's just go ahead and hop back on the Joe, bro. We'll head over to the mailbox, and we'll see if we have a bill that needs paid. Is it Fridays that we need to check for bills? Is it Saturdays, like today? I just, I don't remember. I really don't, okay, unbelievable. What do we got in here? Not actually able to pick anything out at the moment. Oh, dude, the computer, that's right. Okay, cool, well, we don't have enough money for that right now. 100 marks, we can do that. And then is this for the phone? Must be, 120? How do we, okay, just click again. Sure would be cool if we could get a drink now. We can, perfect. All right, we're looking good again, you guys. We're looking good. What else needs taken care of as far as our stats go? Honestly, I think we're I think we're big chilling. We're like really running out of daylight now, so we need to get trucking on the Satsuma rebuild. Let's try and fit this grill next. See if that'll slide on in there. Okay, what size are these? That one looks really, really tiny, so I'm going to go with the smallest. With our ratchet set. We'll see. Sure is. Nicely done. Got that one over there, then this one on that side. And that's actually tied into the fender. Good to know. Okay. And then we just have the two bolts up at the top for the rest of the grill. But what are those? Maybe an eight. Probably. It's not an eight. It's not an eight. What about a seven? Stepping it down a little bit. It's also not a seven. Two very boring minutes later. It's a six, dude. You gotta be kidding me. You go through all the other sizes, except for the one that you actually need. That's just kind of how it goes, though, isn't it? All right. Grill installed. We probably should have done the headlights first, if I'm being honest, but we can just do that now. So we got to kind of think about this backwards. This is the left headlight, so it's left and right when you're facing, like, the same direction as the car. So this is actually going to be the driver's side, the left side. There we go. And then the right, going to be this guy. It's going right there. Wait, right there. Okay, there it is. Now, what size we got in here? Probably something super weird again. I'm going to go up just one size. We have a six right now. That's a seven. Let's do some bumpers next. We got the front bumper right here. I don't remember what size these bolts or uh, nuts were as well. But let's try to see if we can't get this up there. Come on, dude. There you go. Nope. Didn't like that. It, it did not want to get installed. Let's try that again. Somewhere around here. And then you are right back in there. But what size are you, dude? They've got to be pretty large, I would think. Let's try a 10. When in doubt, it's usually a 10. But not in this case. Let's go with a 12, maybe. I love the, the trial. And I say love sarcastically. I do not love doing this. But it's a necessary evil. See if it's a 14. It's also not a 14. How about an eight? We have an eight. We've got an eight, baby. Got one over there, one over here. And then hopefully the rear bumper is going to be a similar story or a similar bolt size, I should say. That's going to go right there. It sure is. All right. We've got four eights all the way around with the bumpers. Last one is going to be right there. Nicely done. Okay. So taillights next, I'm thinking. Let's grab these. Got the left side, driver's side. Pop that right on in there. These don't require any nuts or bolts, correct? 
I feel like I remember them not actually requiring anything. Oh, but that reminds me, though. The headlights actually require bulbs. So let's get that one slid into there. Shouldn't have to do anything else with the bulbs. Just literally toss them in each headlight. And that is going right there. We're going to have to start on the wiring at some point. But for now, let's continue working on the interior, I think, with the steering wheel. This is going to be real, real easy. It's a real obvious position where that's going to go. And then I think that is a 10, right? Let's just bring this inside the car, dude. It's going to make it so much easier. We'll try a 10 straight away. That's how confident I am. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, and then we have the dash secured. Down here, I'm noticing we forgot to tighten these guys. I have no idea what size that is. Let's step it down to maybe an 8. It is not an 8. What about a 7? Could be a weird one. I feel like not too many things are a 7. It is also not a 7. A 6? Potentially. Okay, still not a not a 6. What about a 9? Do we have a 9? We've got a 9-er. There we go. Now we've got our AFR gauge. That just goes right up next to the A pillar. Right there. No bolts on that yet again. Let's open this door back up. Grab the dash. And we can get our instrument panel installed. Do we have any bolts on this? I don't think so. But if we want to install the clock, I know that has some bolts. I think just two of them on the back side. So let's grab this. A clock would be very, very helpful. I know we can probably get the, uh, the wristwatch here today. But honestly, I don't really feel like going all the way to the dance pavilion. So we'll just have to wait until next Saturday. And we can acquire that then. But we'll have a clock in the meantime if I can ever actually just get that thing into where it needs to go. Watch it be a 7, dude. 7 is seriously... Yep, it is a 7. It's the it's the weirdest size. Hardly anything. I mean that. Hardly anything requires a 7. Whoops. I did not mean to rip that even further, but hopefully it didn't hurt anything. Okay, are we good on the interior? No, we're still missing the radio. Let's grab that. And is this thing sliding around? It's totally dancing, dude. It's... It's dancing right over the inspection pit. Let's go ahead and just scooch this thing right back over. That could have almost been catastrophic. We're going to have to do a decent amount of wiring in this vehicle as well. Everything except for all the major, like, engine components and things. God, dude, this thing is still... It's like it's like twisting all around. I, oh, that was really close. I didn't mean to swear there also. Okay, that time, that time it was intentional. All right, what else we got? Interior is good. Uh, let's see. We've got headlights, taillights. We could install the radiator. Doesn't really matter. It's just four bolts, so I guess we might as well. What size are you? I don't remember what we had last, but it was the one. So that works out perfectly. We've got two over here. And then two on this other side as well. This isn't as important as the other things, but I do think we should probably get that back panel installed nonetheless. Anything else? Can we think of anything else that needs to go on right now? I think we're actually good to move on to the wiring. Again, we can't do all of this, but we can at least get it started. So the first one we're going to do is from the rear harness. Let's just go ahead and open up this trunk. That'll probably help. There we be. Got to grab our wiring mess, but it's going to be from the rear harness here. Oh, okay, I forgot forgot how to do this. We hit F. There we go. And then to the fuel tank right there. Then we're going to go rear harness to taillights. And to this taillight as well. Perfect. Okay, we've got the rear done. Look at that. Piece of cake up in the front here. I couldn't remember exactly how everything was supposed to be ran. So I took the regulator to the main connector here. And then the main connector to the headlights connector. But now nothing else seems to be working. So I must have, like, spam clicked on something else. And I can't remember how to, like, restart my connection. It's going to let me run whatever I clicked on initially to the fuse box. So I guess we'll just go ahead and do that so we can continue working on the headlights. Wait a minute. What? It's actually still not working, dude. I, I don't have the headlights connected. I have them connected here, but the headlights themselves have yet to be connected to anything. Don't you have to have the headlights like in but not bolted in? I feel like that sounds right. Let's try this. 
Or wait, wait, wait. Should we just... Let's just pop it out completely. And then we'll see if that fixes it. So, main harness over here. Wait, there it is. There it is. I think we've done it. Okay, so now we can go front lights connector over to this one. But we still need to get this one taken out as well. Otherwise, it's just not going to work as we just learned. So that can pop out. Now we'll grab our wiring again. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't say it's all coming back to me now, but at least we've got that portion of it sorted. Okay. Next, I think we're ready to take the radiator fan connector up to... Not the regu... Well, does it need to go to the regulator? That doesn't sound right. I'm pretty sure it needs to go to main harness connector. And that did nothing. Why did that do nothing? Maybe we need to go main harness... Oh, okay. That time it did something. See, like, why does it work sometimes? And other times, it's, you know what? I'm over it. I'm over it again. Next, let's take the fuse box over to instrument panel one, which is right there. And then once again, fuse box over to, oh, I don't think it worked that time. Okay. Yes, it did. Never mind. Never mind. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. And then fuse box again. But this time, we're going to the ignition switch. Radio harness is going to, of course, go to the radio. There we be. And then what else do we have underneath here? We've got... Oh, dash harness connector. Okay, that... Doesn't that have to go to the AFR? And also, like, the light switch? Right? Let's try this. And then lights are going to be right there. Okay, cool. I don't think we have anything else to connect to the dash harness connector. Nothing else to go to the radio, because we don't have an amp, I don't think. Yeah, you don't start with an amp from the factory. Alrighty, well, tell you the truth, you guys, I think that's probably all the wiring we're going to be able to get done for today, because we're kind of still missing an entire engine. That also has plenty of things that still need wired up. So... With that being said, I think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.